ignore this. I don't even ask. I'm kind of enjoying the cottagecore aesthetic, so let's make some pinafores today, shall we? We're going on vacation. The almost two years of quarantine and lockdown were not nice to my figure. I turned into a very thick, curvaceous lady, more than I was before. Nothing fits anymore. I need a new wardrobe, but, but, but first... Ugh. A simple skirt, pleated with a bib, and for that I will use watermelons. Fine cotton watermelon print from Brazil. It smells like Brazil, like Melissa shoes. I don't know why, they've been in the drawer for ages. Knee length, 75 centimeters. Do I have red? Changing and getting old. I think the belt. Just the waistline will be red. The rest will be watermelon. And that I'd live to regret it. <laughs> I want the bit part to be from here to here. It's like a trapezoid, trapezoid, trapezoid. Keep this word, trapezoid shape. 22 by 34. gonna put a pocket gonna put a pocket on the front in red where 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 did i put it ta da this is a no pattern necessary thing and i totally recommend it's a very easy thing to do i always forget how big my waist is <laughs> 89 i wrote it on the table if I could choose a superpower to have, I would definitely choose the ability of everything straight lines. Cutting, sewing, drawing, everything. Fabric snacks. Sandwich the bib between the two waistband parts. 24 seconds later. No! I forgot, not only this part should be sandwiched, but uh, the straps for the back as well. I have to pick the same. Uh, one eternity later. Yeah! This, 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 this. It's too long, I need to shorten it. Yes, the deadline is a slight exaggeration. But we have a pocket exchange! Yay! Our beautiful costume community is swapping pockets. This collab was organized by Jeanette from A Perfect Touch, so don't forget to check her out. My person was Ben from Horizon Cosplay. He is Annabelle's significant person. I have the feeling Ben is a very secretive person because he's not on camera that much. Explain this one. Hi guys, this is our button shop. It is packed with a massive collection of buttons from every color under the rainbow, from sky blue to emerald green. And they are stuffed in there, nearly three tall. It is ridiculous. Next to that is our 3D printing supplies and miscellaneous items. Generally things like poppers and other things that we use for making pockets and other miscellaneous items on costumes. That is those two shelves. <laughs> Show yourself some more. This is hard. I'm making something different. I'm gonna make him a smaller version of my utility belt because I think he will use it more than just a normal pocket. And I will use fake leather from Cyberpunk, what I have left, including the neon ultra radioactive pink. <laughs> So this. <laughs> I'm a watermelon. I'm a watermelon woman. Old watermelon. It's a pocket of difficult access. I could put my cell phone in here, maybe. It's very steep. <laughs> <laughs> 
the second one larger waistband i'm not sure if pleated or ruffled it will depend on how much fabric i have things with frilly lease beautiful frilly lease what's the name of that these details i don't know words i i don't know words dogositos all of the doggies all of the doggies ah! all fine Everything's fine. This is one skirt panel. It will be ruffled just a little bit because I don't have much more fabric. There will be some weird things going on with the skirt. Waistband, things. But what about my freely leaves? These are the details. I will search this edge with a roll ham. <laughs> Maybe you should stitch this before sewing it to turn it right side out because it's kind of dangerous with the amount of pins. But we have a frilly. I want the straps coming from the middle of the back. Sew this. Another eternity later. Wait, what? <laughs> I did it wrong, oh no. This should be here. And I checked. Don't you love it when your head does not work as intended? <laughs> I made a mistake and instead of just picking the seam apart, I will add a button plate on the front. Where's my pan? I lost my pan! Imagine the closure in buttons. Or snaps because no one has time to sew buttons. Seriously. I finished this before constructing the button plate. The last piece. So we have bigger pockets, smaller pockets for all the things, pens and oh, whatevers. Also the bottom. We have a bottom. This is so weird when you don't really have a plan what you're doing. Oops, so he can put this on a belt. Wow, I can really cut in half. So, I need to find a way to put a motor on this thing. Definitely a good workout. Only for one arm. <laughs> Later. What did you do? We just washed you. We just washed you. The last pinafore will be green because there's just too much patterns going on. I need something neutral. This is the thing I'm going for and it's a baby stuff so I have to make it bigger. This is the front of and I will just alter this like so for an idea where the lines will go. I like this green. No, look what I'm doing. I need to extend this otherwise I'm not gonna be able to close it because my beeps are too big. My beeps are too big. Again, I want this frilly design here but all the way. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Sewn and understitched. Now I will try to sandwich the frills between these two parts. What am I doing? I'm pinning both sides together. No, no, no. Beautiful sandwich. Sewing time. Did it work? It seems it has. <laughs> oh, look at this. This <laughs> is so cute. I changed my mind. I will not make a button plate. I will add a very, very chunky zipper. 
because I like chunky zippers. But I don't have any garments with chunky zippers on the front, only on the back. In this color, because it's the same color as the detail on the fla la la. Attach this waistband to the back first. I need to figure out how to attach the front, making the right loop, because, well, it's me and I will definitely do something I'm not supposed to do and the thing will fall apart, explode, and we're all gonna catch on fire. Puppies will die and it will be the end. <laughs> Yes, I am dramatic, leave me alone. Good that I didn't sew this first. And there's still a huge overlap from the part where the buttons were supposed to be. So if I just sew this like this, it will be too big and awful. <laughs> I'll commit to cut this panel in half. You can see the level of despair that I'm feeling when you just take a look at my working surface. Everything is everywhere. One surgery later. It seems I did not ruin it. I had to raise the back a little bit, this much, because it was too long and it was kind of floppy on the front. I didn't like it. Cut this off. This is definitely a commitment I will never be able to take back. Now to attach the skirt. And we're done. I lost my pocket template. Where's my pocket template? I lost my pocket template. It was something like this, but I lost my pocket template. Four hours later. Now that I'm done with the pockets, I just realized something. I'm making the closure on the front, so the front panel should be the one divided in two and not the back <laughs> panel. Too late now, because everything is sewn and overlocked for the front panel to have the pocket. If I turn it, it will have the pocket on my ass and this will be very weird. So I have no other choice than to cut the skirt in half in the front and so the back seam shut. So now I have an extra seam that I did not want. But it is what it is when you don't pay attention to what you're doing, which is my MO, as usual. Okay, let this rest a little while like this. Maybe it will be easier for me to sew then. Ta -da! To finish the lining, do a double pocket inside. Three layers of lining that will form two pockets. There you go. Beautiful. Now let's attach this. Ha ha ha. Ta da da da. Two pockets inside a pocket, and now a snap to close this, and we're done. <laughs> I hope he likes this. It's very colorful. Not that many people like color, but people need color in their lives. Later, it's winter. It's insane how quick the weather changed down there. We had to stop filming. There she is in all her glory and wrinkles because it was in my bag for all this time. And now we'll take this apart and build some structure underneath. Not structured enough, it doesn't look really good. Surgery it is. Tyson sent me this. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. My Dutch is not that good for names and surnames. I'm sorry. I'll leave her channel down in the description as well. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, oh this is so beautiful. Hi, Nanny. Surprise, he's your pocket swap. Regency reticule a la seamstress. Oh, I had a lot of fun investigating your channel to try and come up with a customized idea for this pocket. I put in a bit of chaos, some genius, something to relax, and something for the bacon. I hope you will love it. All the best, Gil. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. I love the colors, thank you. No, there is a pig in the back. <laughs> I'm emotional now. This is so fun. Oh, look at this. It's so well done. Oh my god. And lavender in the pocket. Piggy! The bacon! 
again. Thank you, you. I really, really like it. It is so well made. I'm in love with everything. This is way too fancy for me. I need now clothes to go with this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this chaotic thing, check out the thing below. I think you're gonna like it. Bye.